Ladies and gentlemen, ooh. ladies and gentlemen, this video is a thank you video for the hundred subs. I'm going to compare the chicken burgers from Burger King, McDonald's, and KFC. We're gonna find out which one is the best one. I'm gonna drive to the three fast food locations. I'm gonna get the burgers and then I'm gonna present them to you and we're gonna see how it how they taste. Alrighty then. First stop, McDonald's. Yeah, I just run in front of the car because that's smart. We got a, a chicken habanero. Beep. You have paid. Oh wow, I paid. I got less money now. Yay. Tick tock. Tick tock. That's it. Fatty McBoom Boom is getting his burgers. He crossed the road and he didn't care if I kill him because he had the, the num nums. <laughs> All right, next step. It has to be a chicken burger, but I have the choice. I can pick whatever chicken burger I want, not just the basic one. So that means from McDonald's, we got a chicken habanero or McFascist. KFC doesn't have a drive in, which means we need to put on our face diapers. You. <laughs> Did you see my schlonger? Merci, good fall, brother. It's raining again. Ba da da do de de do. Be de de do. Ma na na ma na na ma na na na. Alright! <laughs> it's time for food! <laughs> All right, it's time for food. So we have gotten chicken burgers at McDonald's, at KFC's, and at Burger King's. McDonald's, KFC, Burger King. Can you see it? I like how Burger King always has those little towels because you eat with your with your fingers. All right, here we go again. Presentation: McDonald's. I'm loving it, dude. I'm loving it. And we can't see anything. Chicky chicky. <laughs> McDonald's. KFC, which is a big, big burger, Boblarger case. The premium something burger. The premium. Ah. Oh. It looks it looks better. And then last and possibly least. We got the squishing pin. Oh, 
Burger King. Alrighty then. First we clean our hands. And after eating, we also clean our hands. <coughs> we'll start in the sequence we visited the, the fast food, the joints. So we'll start with McDonald's. This is the McFascist. Now this is a, yeah, this is McDonald's. I think it was the, the Calapeno Mac. The Calapeno, no, it was the, the Habanero. Mac Habanero. Have a long, hard look at yourself, burger. This is you, this is so you. Nothing below. A little bit of sauce on top. I think this is the habanero sauce. The habanero. Habanero, habanero. Give it a good, a good bite. Start on this side. Chickeny, spicy. I don't taste much of the habanero. The habanero chili has a very specific flavor to it. I'm, I'm tasting very little of it. Maybe, maybe a, a little tiny, tiny bit. <laughs> All right, next burger, KFC. I think we got the the premium gourmet barbecue. The bun looks really. I'm gonna show you without the. So this is clearly the best looking one. It looks the best. It looks like there's quite a bit going on inside. Let's see below. We got sauce below, a different sauce. What triggers me a little bit is that the sauce is only in the center. All right, let's give this one a good old bite. Mm-hmm. Very barbecue-y. I think I like it better than a McDonald's one. It's more crispy, it tastes more. You can taste the chicken out more. And there's also a complexity of the flavors underneath that I like. I do like barbecue, so maybe it's the barbecue, but I also like chili. I also like habanero. All right, last but not least, the Burger King barbecue burger. The burglar. It looks like a hot mess. Probably tastes like one too. There's some stuff going on here. And it's quite drenched in in liquids. It's got the white soils underneath. Let's give it a good old bite. It's just thick. My fresh pants. Super saucy. Honestly, I can't taste that much of the chicken out. There's a hot mess of sauces and, and the liquids going on with this one. So far, it is my least favorite. Look, my hand, I just cut myself. Ah! No, it's, uh, it's, 
Don't ban me. It's um, it's the sauce. All right, we'll take a sip of water and then take a bite from each of them. And then we'll, I'll give you the rankings. All right, again, McDonald's. McDonald's. This is the McDonald's burger. Got quite a bit of sauce coming out top. Quite a bit of sauce. And no sauce below. No sauce. Let's give it a good old bite. Mm -hmm. I like the spice. This one has, so McDonald's has like three sp spicy burgers, three chili burgers on the menu. One spiciness, two spiciness, three spiciness. The least spicy is jalapeno, second spicy is habanero, this one, and the spiciest one, I forgot. <laughs> because I like the taste, I wanted to pick the spiciest one, but because I like the taste of the habanero, I got that one. And yeah, I'm getting the hiccups if I eat too spicy, so I might get some more hiccups <laughs> and burps. The lady just looked over. <laughs> she just saw me go, <gasps> and she she's walking with her walking stick into the into the nature, into the green, and she's like, "What was that?" And then she she sees me going like, <laughs> "It's not me, it's you." So McDonald's, solid on the taste scale, like the spiciness. Let me take one more bite of the McDonald's one. I want to analyze the chicken, the chicken taste. It has clearly this is chicken, so it should be chickeny too. It is chickeny. Now that I have a little bit less sauce on it, I think it's always sad they do it unbalanced. Too much sauce in the middle. Around the corner, you have like the just chicken and patty. In the center, you have like an avalanche of sauce. Okay. So this burger is... I would say it's pretty good. On a scale... 0 to 10, it is minus 5. No, on, a Zell, on, a, on a scale 0 to 10, I would give it maybe a 7. If we say 7 is... It's good. It's good. It's good. I would be lying if it's not good. If I said it's not good. Do we give it a 7? I mean, it has enough room to be better. <clears throat> All right, now the Colonel Sanders Premium Barbecue. Give that one a good old bite. Premium Barbecue, it's the one that looks like that. It's clearly better. Sorry, McDonald's, but this one is clearly better. Clearly. I think it's also more expensive. This one, I would say, is an eight. I 
All right, Burglar King now. Here we go again with the hot mess. It looks like it looks like it's been crushed. It's been squeezed into its little package with no love. You want to give it a bite? Mm, yum, 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 yum. All right, we'll give it, give it a good old whack with our teeth. You can see the chicken inside. It has bacon and I think a little bit of cheese and it looks literally, this burger is a living mess. I mean, look at my hand from just holding it for, for 30 seconds. <clears throat> the hands were fine after the other burgers but this one mm, I would say this one is probably a five and we're not talking about average five but like eh wouldn't get it again I'm not getting it again maybe their their basic chicken burger is better Burger King. What is it? The barbecue. A barbecue, whatever burger. Good guy. McDonald's. It's not bad. But good guy. You didn't see <laughs> you didn't see that kfc burger good 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 this one is actually good <coughs> this is the winner sorry it doesn't look great maybe from this side Okay, doesn't look great anymore. The thing with burgers is, once you ate through parts of them, they start looking pretty crappy. And this one, the critic that I have for this one is, there's not much chicken for all the bread, right? Oh, I. <laughs> I sneezed. Oh my god, I sneezed all over the car. Oh no. <clears throat> You're eating like a pig. It's unbelievable. Like a pig. Even even behind the thing there's salad. What the what the what the, what the fuck is that? Oh. Oh. Get out of here. Get out of here, you little rascal. Leave. Leave. Go.